Hi everyone, I'm Anne Duff, the Careers Manager for the College of Arts and you're very welcome to this learning video which is a high speed show and tell through some of the amazing content that has been created by film and TV professionals during lockdown. I'm going to show you everything from finding a successful indie to filming quality content with your iPhone. Unsurprisingly, considering that people in film and TV tend to be comfortable with recording and filming, they have pivoted during the pandemic in 2020 to create loads of resources for people wanting to get into this industry. So the first resource I want to show you is Screen Skills. Screen Skills is the industry-led skills body for the screen industries, film, television, including children's unscripted and high-end, visual effects, animation and games. They provide insight, career development and other opportunities to help people get into the industry and progress within it. So as you can see, there are other sources of information on screen skills, lots of really nice content. But for now, let's look at the resources. OK, so as you can see, loads of lovely content. Uh, so what you can do is you can scroll through and you can pick out the things that really speak to you. So many things in here. Um, when I was actually researching this um, talk, I went down the rabbit hole a little bit myself, I must confess, and sort of clicked into lots of things that I particularly thought was really interesting. So really nice things here, like how to create a portfolio how to find your role in unscripted TV and learn how to get in. So lots of content about lots of different aspects of the film and TV industry of the sector. And it's a good way for you to find out where you can position yourself. Now, when you think of film and TV, an obvious destination, of course, is the BBC. And when you think of the BBC, you want to specifically go to the BBC Academy. Again, fantastic masterclass content, but what they also have on here is really nice podcast content. I particularly liked going through and looking at the available episodes and the episodes in here are really great advice about how to create a podcast, how to make co podcast content specifically for the BBC. So again, lots of fantastic advice and really, really interesting things that you can look at. Now I've went to this page specifically because it shows you the podcast, but it also then links you to the BBC Academy website. So in the BBC Academy website, again, you can click through all of these um, uh, uh, click throughs, but I particularly want to show you digital cities. So again, look at all this fantastic stuff that sits within digital cities. Where Screen Skills um, was really, really good for showing you how to do things. I really thought this was good in the BBC Academy for uh, loads of really interesting content around how they make particular uh, TV programmes. And one of the things that I hear a lot from the film and TV industry, people that work within it when they're giving advice to students and graduates, is to learn how to create content is learn how to tell a narrative. You need to be a storyteller. So this, I felt really, really helped capture that and really helped people interpret, right, how do I become a good storyteller? How do I learn how to tell the narrative for my listener or my viewer? Now, that other piece of advice, which I hear them given all the time about creating content, I thought this was particularly good to demonstrate this. So again, this is on the BBC website. Screen Skills have a similar piece of content, but I liked this in the little short, sharp video. Now the BBC, they particularly, the BBC particularly give their staff iPhones. So this is focused in on iPhone, but I don't think it matters really um, whether you're using something different. I have an Android or uh, an iPhone. I use some of the advice in here to create content and it's it's really, really good. I really liked it. So it doesn't really matter <laughs> when you create content um, if you have the grand total of 10 people who have watched it on YouTube. If you want to create content, create content. Uh, don't wait for somebody else to give you permission. And this particular learning piece here gives you some great advice to create quality content using your smartphone. 
Now, the other resource I want to show you is prospects. Now, this can really take you down the rabbit hole of looking at opportunities and pathways. Um, this isn't so much path, uh, prospects isn't so much about looking at masterclasses and looking at content that's been created as another way of signposting you to where you'll see great content. So if you go here to jobs and work experience, job sectors, and then into your media and internet. And as you can see, lots of, again, really good click throughs. Now I'm not gonna go through all of these for you. This is something that you can do obviously in your own time, but I'm going to, I'm gonna go to, I'm going to go to this one overview of the media sector so what this is really good for is giving you what we call labor market information it tells you about the industry it breaks it down for you it starts through the different pathways and roles that exist within it it shows you how you get into them so if you might feel really interested in being uh digital marketing it takes you into more content and more information one of the things that are particularly useful is if you click through to some of these things, you'll see this job profile and a job profile really gives you a deep dive into that particular role, what it's about, the kind of person that they're looking for and really usefully where you can see these kind of jobs advertised. So I really want to tell you that Twitter is your friend um, when you're looking for things in the film and TV industry. So anytime you click through to one of these um, uh, sites and you think, oh, that's really useful, follow it on your Twitter. Now, the other thing that I really want to focus in on to show you, let's go back to some content, masterclasses, really nice things that you can watch. So this is BAFTA Guru. So BAFTA Guru, right, they give out awards. Yeah, right, yeah, that's what we know them for. But they also are um, a really strong industry player in developing people coming into the industry. So BAFTA Guru is the tool that BAFTA has developed that shows you Again, look at these fabulous masterclasses that you can start to look at and listen to. They break it down by crafts. So some of, again, the different roles that you could look at within film and TV, and again, how you transition into those. Uh, they've got opportunities, but I also want to show you the Guru Live. So Guru Live pops up in key places across the UK and you can look at these highlights from past ones in Cardiff, Glasgow and London but again remember that advice about following on Twitter because you want to see when the next one's coming up in Glasgow so you can go and you can ask your questions and you can network with the professionals that you'll see there. Now I feel like I can't show you one public service broadcaster and not show you the other public service uh, broadcaster which is Channel 4. So channel four um, skills, well, four skills, if you're Googling it, you want to look for four skills. <clears throat> so four skills recruit students and graduates into apprenticeships, the production training scheme, talent schemes and work experience. But they also run these live events. Now, these, of course, have been impacted. So this hasn't been updated since 2019 because of the, the pandemic. But keep an eye out on their social media. So they're really active. And as I've said before, Twitter is really your friend when you're looking at moving into the film and TV industry. And especially Channel 4, I would be looking at very closely because they now have a presence, of course, in Glasgow. So I'd be hoping to see that start to transition into um, a little bit more involvement in the city, which, of course, is great for uh, all of you guys based here in, in, in Glasgow. So, so much content, and I do hope you find the time to watch and listen to some of it. Because there is so much content, approach it like you would any of your watch lists on any of your uh, digital channels. Scan it first of all, pick out the ones that catch your eye, line them up and binge. So happy viewing and all the best of luck. <laughs>